Well, the farmers of America are the heart of America and they're the heart of Louisiana. And so we have to protect our agricultural society. Uh, you know, we cannot do anything but support them. We need to help them with insurance in issues. We need to help them with tax issues. And we need to help them with property issues. So I support the farmers. I support the agriculture community. We cannot cut the budget of our ports because that has an adverse effect on our farmers because we are some of the number largest ship in the largest grain around the world. We ship seafood, we ship all kinds of products up our rivers and out our ports. And so when you cut the budget that affects a port, you hurt our farmers. And that's what we just saw the legislature do. And so today I want to say that, you know, I got to participate in a panel with three politicians, uh, a bureaucrat, and a um, and what I call him Jindal 2.0, the former chief of staff of, of Jindal's administration and Vitter's administration. So I'm giving the Louisiana uh, residents a, a clear choice for governor. We can no longer have a session in the way it ended. You can't let six individuals go in there and make a decision and give the rest of the legislature 15 minutes to know what they cut out of the budget. And that's what happened. And that's where that money for the port got cut out. That's where health care got cut out. That's when they finally made the decision not to give our teachers a permanent raise. And so, as I pointed out during this forum, I mean, our teachers are 35th in the nation, our policemen are 48th in the nation, our firemen are last in pay. We've got to take care of our public servants and our teachers in the state of Louisiana, and they didn't do it.